Laura here from Hedgehog's Homestead. Today I'm taking my onion starts and I'm gonna separate them. Not all of them germinated. I really had poor germination. And I think that's because where I started them, I started them outside um, in our shop and it was 45 degrees there when I started them in the shop pretty consistently. It was dipping down at night to probably 30. Onions really need 55 to 75 degrees to germinate. They really like it at 70, at the most between 70 and 75. Um, so I had a really slow start to these. Um, so they're doing well now that they've germinated because I brought them inside the house. Um, that was after 14 days of trying to do it outside. And just having like visual germination on like maybe five starts. So after bringing them inside, they all started, well, a lot of them started to germinate. And I'm wondering if this was an older seed. And now we're starting to get the second leaves. And so um, I have many of them that have more than one in one cell. And then I have vacancies in some of my cells. So I wanna go ahead and move them around if I have more than one, move it over to an empty cell, um, two at the most in a cell. And so let's get to it. Okay, so I'm just doing this on some newspaper. I have um, two in this cell. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. I have one in this cell, but I have three in this cell. So I'm gonna take my little just butter knife and pop that up and then just kind of take away maybe the one in the middle. This soil is really dry. I need to give it some water and just gently take one away just like so. And then I'm gonna pop this down, these onions that are in here, back in. And then I'm gonna put this onion, okay, right here is an empty area, and put the soil around that. After this, I'm gonna water it all in, and we'll get to that. So these are Walla Wallas. So again, there's more than one in this cell. Roots aren't very long because I haven't been doing a lot of watering from the bottom, which I need to. We're just gonna separate them up a little bit. And gently put the soil around the roots. And then I have these two that look really healthy and we're gonna put it back in this cell. But I really want to make sure that the roots are covered. Um, sorry about that noise in the background that was just there earlier. Um, sound like boxes moving around or something or plastic rubbing up against something. It is. <laughs> my my dog is a, a cone head right now. Okay, so. Now I'm going to grab this one. And I have three, four in this cell. Put the soil back. One thing I don't like about starting um, soil is it gets really, really dry. I really don't like that. Okay, so we're gonna separate these, being very gentle. Because there's four in this one, I'm gonna take two away, like that. And then, I love that these have their second leaves. And as soon as um, your onions are upright, they'll start folded over um, when they pop up. But as soon as they're upright, you can start fertilizing those onion seedlings. 
just with a light fertilizer, a very mild fertilizer. Okay. You don't want to bend your onions, so I'm trying to be very careful. I think this one's a little bit bent. And then put those seedlings back there together. And they're fine together until they go on the ground. And, and then once I water them in, they'll pop back up. So I'm not worried about that part. Okay, so we have two there, one there, and then we have two in this one. I'm not worried about that. But this one has a few seedlings in it. So what happens when you're putting onion seed in a Oh, this one's really nice and moist. That's good. So there's one that doesn't have a very long root. So I'm not even, I might worry. I think I have room to put that over here. And then the rest of these, just gently, kind of just let it fall apart. There's two together right there. Open up this cell. Drop that in there. So there's two. <laughs> Sorry, that's my puppy. He's playing with his little brother, or his brother. So we'll put those two together. And then this one we'll put over here. This one, they can go in this cell over here. After the, I do this, I'm gonna give them a little bit of fertilizer. Sorry, they're kind of funny when they play. They make all kinds of noise. They're both laying on the ground, being lazy players. Okay, and then these two, I'm gonna put in this cell right here. That these cells, these cells are really wet, but those cells, because it was angled, are really dry. So, I'm take that one out. It's not very healthy. Okay, so the rest of these, here's a cell that has too many, and this is a cell that has too many. So, I'll separate those ones. thing is, it's weird how they all end up in one cell. And then I got one just starting there and then there's a multiple there. So I'll separate these very carefully. And I have an empty space right here. So I'll put this one in here like so. growth on those. I like that. Let's put that ooh, put it over here in this one. This is the problem. This is um, why this is happening that I, I have moist soil on one side and not the other side is because the soil, the water is collecting all on one side, unfortunately. Okay, and it looks like I've got two in here, actually three. So I'm gonna put that over here too. They're so fragile. Oh, puppies. 
And then this one we have multiple in. Together, so we'll just plant those in one cell. Okay. a big hole with my finger so I can really get those roots down deep. Papa, stop pushing on me. My dogs got fixed on Tuesday. This is Thursday. And Bubba won't leave his alone so he has to wear that stupid comb. Okay, now that's good for here. Okay, and these are Walla Wallas, which are one of our favorites. And so the only other one I want to I want to do that to is there's three in this, or I think four. And then the next one over there's a little more than there should be. These are doing really well now that they've started. You don't want to squeeze the soil a lot when you're removing them. You just want to pull so gently. See how long the roots are? Just kind of pull them so gently away. You don't squeeze the soil and pull the soil. Okay, there's a good little start right there. We'll stick it in here. Put some more soil along the top there. split. That's a really nice healthy one. Okay, we got one in there. You could use one in here. Some nice roots on this one. Make sure you get all the roots buried. healthy one. Now this is a different variety. This is a Georgia something rather. <laughs> Can't remember exactly. So I'm just gonna take the ones that have a lot of them in there and then move them around. Like this one only has one, so I can stick another one in there, but 
This one has two larger ones, and so I have this spot, this spot, and this spot that's both empty. And I think I have four in here, so I only need to separate two of them. too hard on it. You don't want to snap the root or snap anything. Okay, now we still have three left. So I can put one here. It's a nice seedling. And then we have two left after that. So I'll put these ones back in this spot. Just putting another little nice dose the soil around them. Okay. Okay, so we got two in there, two in this cell, three in this cell multiple in this cell, so let's see about moving those. where they came from. Okay, that's two together now in that cell. This one down in here. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to give it some water. watered. Okay, and then I'm just going to spray a little water the tops of this a little bit over here. So dry. I don't like that at all. Okay, now the next time I'll feed these. Um, I might go ahead and feed them now, but I just watered them really good, so let that work in for a while, and then we'll go get the other ones and get them done. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. God bless, and have a great and wonderful day. Bye.